Welcome back to Curiosity, I'm Ollie Hubbard. My face was safe due to the conservation of energy, meaning energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be transferred. The two main types of energy in my pendulum is potential, stored energy, and kinetic, the energy of motion. So when I was first holding the weight to my face, all the energy it held was potential. This is because if I let go, gravity would convert the potential energy into kinetic energy, which is exactly what happened. The weight also holds completely potential energy when it reaches the highest point on the opposite side from where I let go. Yet, when it was right in the middle, all its energy was kinetic. This makes sense as imagine I put the weight right in the middle and then let go. It would not move and thus has no potential energy. But the majority of the weight's journey, it has a mix of potential and kinetic energy. So why didn't it swing back and return to where I let it go? In my face. Simply due to the air resistance and friction it experienced while travelling which caused some of the energy to be transferred into heat or possibly sound. So overall there was a loss in kinetic and potential energy due to this transfer and as you can see it didn't hit my face. A nice way to visualise it is using a graph similar to this one. Potential energy is represented by blue and kinetic pink. As you can see, all energy being potential is soon followed by it being all kinetic and then all potential and so on. Here the blue crosses indicate when the weight reaches its highest point and the pink crosses represent when the weight is directly in the centre. Where I have circled indicates when the pendulum was halfway between its highest point and the centre. From this graph you can also easily see that when it contains all potential energy it equals zero kinetic and vice versa. I hope you're a bit more curious. Please like and subscribe to catch next week's curiosity and click the video to find out what causes the moon's phases.